started with a, a dairy mm -hmm. and a dairy plant. So we began making fresh product on site. So that was the beginning. Whenever we went into something new, we always figured we could make it better than we could buy it. So we tended to, to end up making a lot of our own products. The, the store design is a one-way aisle. So you go through the aisle one way. And that just was created because the store had a same store expanded, but it was in different areas. So you couldn't, we didn't buy one big square box. Mm -hmm. It was, it looked, our store looks like a, a snake. <clears throat> so the second thing is, is, um, is the retail layout was, was different. Mm -hmm. And then uh, the third was really, there was a fascination with, uh, with both Disneyland and Las Vegas. Just creating excitement in a in an environment like that. You have to make the difference in the sector. Right. You got to create excitement. Right. Uh -huh. So that's what we um, we we really um, that, that's what I think how we evolved into this. Mm -hmm. Because it's in the in the basis of the company. Right. right. When you start the, the past, you had. The, you, you saw that you had to be different from the other companies. So yeah. you have the, the three steps or three yeah. points that uh, mm -hmm. make the difference. Okay. And uh, you have uh, how many how many stores do you have? We have four. Four. Mm -hmm. And all with the same concept. Oh. Pretty. So I'd like to know uh, about the philosophy of the company, okay? Because as we talk, as you, you told us, uh, it's the, the consumer is always right, okay? I'd like to know um, when do, uh, did you realize it, it was important for the company? When you, you thought and in, in, said, oh, it's the way, how it happened? Well, I, I think we, we grew up with the philosophy that you had to always have a customer leave the store happy, what, whatever happened. Mm -hmm. Over the years, I think we've struggled with how to create a policy because there is a small percentage of customers that are trying to take advantage of. I can't say every customer's right that comes in the store. Mm -hmm. Because there are people that, they're thieves. Of course. You know, they steal things. Mm -hmm. um, there's people that are trying, you know, they, they may buy a, um, you know, a steak, mm -hmm. and then they come back and say, my steak, I didn't like it, could I get another steak? Mm -hmm. And you give them an, another steak for free, and then they come back again and say, that steak was no good either. Okay. And there's people, so you can't say just like this, here's another steak, here's another steak, here's another steak. So you do have to um, use common sense. But the goal really is is that you, you want to try to get everybody to, to use common sense, but also make sure the customer leaves happy. Mm -hmm. so, or, and understand, like, like we had one lady who brought in a bottle of wine all the time and she drank the wine all the way down to the bottom and fill it with water and she brought the wine in and kept saying it's no good mm -hmm. I didn't like it but I almost take it yeah. so we gave her another bottle mm -hmm. and then she did it a second time and then on the third time we said oh you know we're gonna take this bottle and we have to get send it for inspection because there must be something wrong with the corks or well, um, as soon as she heard that, that she never came back and returned the wine again. Because, uh, you know, we just made it a little more difficult for her like that. Mm -hmm. 
So, you, you know, you can't be right all the time. Mm -hmm. And because yeah. we have the, the amount of, probably the most of the people are right, but the other ones are right. everything. It's not only in this case. Yeah, you can't focus 99.9% .9 of the people mm -hmm. are good people. You know, I mean, there, there's a little percentage that you have to deal with in retail um, that that really are trying to take advantage of you all the time. Mm -hmm. And you have to be tough with them. Uh, and sometimes they could ruin the other good customers. 